Hi folks, welcome to Sean's RC. Been a little while since I did a video, but I'm doing one today on this. I'm a granite, um, and about changing this vehicle from the brush motor to a brushless setup. So just a few tips for doing this. Um, and also the video I made before this, when I put up yesterday, so the video before this on my um, channel, you'll see it running footage of how well it actually goes. But yeah, so I bought a 4,350 kV brushless motor and ESC for this thing. And it's just made a world of difference. It's twice as fast. The thing pulls wheelies. But there's a couple of things, and it's really, really fun, but there's a couple of things that you need to know before you do this, which I'm gonna to explain today. First of all is these things here have got plastic or composite differential outdrives. Here's an old one that you can see here, and they wear out. And I mean, this wore out, these outdrives, they actually wore out with just the stock standard brush motor and everything. So just the power from them, it spins them out. So if you're gonna go brushless, you're generating a lot of power, a lot of energy to the wheels and you're gonna burn them out. So you need to change them out for steel metal outdrives, differential outdrives is what they are. The other thing with them is I'm not sure how the gearing is gonna handle this. You can actually get upgraded gearing and stuff. So we'll see, I'll let you know. But um, just, yeah, I bought a cheap brushless setup, motor, waterproof motor ESC setup from AliExpress from China, which cost about $50 New Zealand. So if you're in the US and you're watching this, it'd probably be about $30. And it's just perfect. That it just, it went straight in. Now, I'll just show you the electronics from this vehicle. From the armors, you, or well, if you go brushless, you've got to change your ESC anyway to like a 60 amp, something that's going to handle it. But also with these armors, the ESC and the receiver is all in one. So this is the controller that comes with the armor. So if you change it over, you've got to put another receiver and you've got to change your your um, your radio gear as well. So I put this. This is what I got this controller, which is a it's actually out of a it's out of a race buggy that I bought, a full on brushless one tenth scale four wheel drive race buggy. I don't know why it came with such a budget controller, such a high spec car. But anyway, so I pulled that and the receiver out of that and I've put it in this armor here. As you can see, I've done a bit of a job there. I've just cable tied it until I can find some time to go down and get some double-sided tape, but there's my receiver there. And there's the ESC that comes with it, just sits straight in there, the motor. Um, you can't really see it there, but it just, it went straight in. The engine mounts, I was quite surprised actually. It just bolted straight in, everything just went straight in. It literally took me five minutes, probably the hardest part of it was getting the grub screw out of the, out of the um, gear pinion. And that only took five minutes, bit of mucking around. And it's only because I couldn't find the right Allen key to do it. But So go back and watch the video that I did before this one, where you can actually see this running. I was going to tag it on to this video, but I don't think I will. Because this is just a couple of things that you have to know before you do it. It's all well and good to put a super, what you know, what is the equivalent of like a supercharged engine in one of these armors. Makes them go really well, but... Like I say, those outdrives are going to burn out. You're probably going to burn them out in the second or third run. I mean, when I first got this vehicle, <coughs> and it was stock standard, I did use it a bit, but I'd say that the um, the outdrives would have burnt out and about would have hollowed out on the inside within about three months. So I can only imagine with the force that's generating from the brushless setup that they're not going to last much longer. Now, in New Zealand here, I can't seem to find any metal out drives but you know there'll be a hobby shop there that'll order them for me i've just got to email them so i'm going to do that i'm going to put metal out drives in it otherwise it just won't handle a brushless motor you'll be you'll be right for a while and who knows you know it may last a few months you might be lucky but 
you know, if you're going to upgrade something like that, something as cheap as getting metal out drives, I think I think the gearing and everything is going to handle it. But just those out drives won't. So, yeah, that's my tip for if you want to do that. And you are a super truck, super cheap. You know, they go really, really well. And you put a brushless setup in them and they're a hell of a lot of fun. Anyway, that's my video for today. I thought I'd film this one on my iPhone instead of a GoPro, like I usually do on a GoPro. So it's filming on 4K, so we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, take care and love the RC hobby.